well, look how many left us and became big time. John oh, Hurd. McCoy. Yeah, John Hurd. Uh, John, uh, well, I had the opportunity to catch up with him ye several years ago mm -hmm. in California, where right before he decided he was going to retire, retire again. Which was, yeah, again. But, but uh, see, a lot of people don't know that John is a monster painter. Yes, I have his, a lot of his sculptor. artwork, yeah. You know, at, he's got a piece that, from what I understand, is either going into the uh, Smithsonian or something of Duke Ellington. That's absolutely incredible. It's in brass, you know, bronze, not yeah. brass, bronze. And he could paint you or draw you uh, as you sit. Mm -hmm. it, uh, it's just an amazing person, an amazing person. Uh, you know, we were talking about all these musicians, and, and uh, let's talk about uh, Dr. Lonnie. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's been a while since I've seen Lonnie, and you know, he's he's one of the last of the greats. Yeah, yeah. You know, and he's coming to town. You know, and and what I didn't understand, and and I think it will be a a lesson for me. The, the Doctor Lonnie Smith is is not really a, a an academic doctor. But when he sits down at that organ, he is Dr. Lonnie Smith. Oh. There's no, no doubt about it. Uh, his uh, influence uh, with, with other uh, B, B3 players has just been incredible. Uh, he used to come through here quite a bit, didn't he? He used to come through the hill, you know, like at the hurricane. And uh, you got to remember, at one point in time, you could start in the hill on Center Avenue, go from one end of Center Avenue to the other end of Center Avenue, Correct, yeah. and hear every organ player in the world. <laughs> you'd true. hear him, you'd hear Goldsmith, you'd hear, you name him. That's right, that's right. It was unbelievable. Uh, I was too young to go then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm, I'm excited because Kente Arts, you know, we're going to be uh, featuring him, uh, and I, I just, uh, I can't say enough about the fact that he has, he's an inspiration. And not only that, I think uh, just listening to him talk, he brings a lot of history. And of course, from the last time I've seen him, he has changed considerably. Uh, I mean, he, he uh, has taken on a persona uh, with his garb and his beard and everything. Yes, and yes. It was very interesting. Is there anything uh, tied to that by any chance? I don't know, but all I know is this. I will be sitting there looking and listening. <laughs> for, for sure. Oh, yes. For, for sure. Because it's going to be something. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm very, very excited about uh, his uh, coming back in, into Pittsburgh after a lot of years. And uh, I think we, one of the things we've got to make sure we do is get the word out to as many people as possible. And I know you're good for that. Oh, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to post it on my Facebook page big time. And anybody that likes organ, and I happen to be an organ lover. Matter of fact, when I was on, on WYJZ, I would play so much organ, man. Yeah, yeah. I just loved it. Well, he's, he's going he's gonna to do uh, quite an awakening for everybody. Thank you. Frank Greenlee, appreciate it. Thank you so much for coming. Hey, enjoyed myself. Listen, thank you for tuning in. And, and remember, we just mentioned uh, the, this whole business with Kente Arts Alliance. They've got it going on. I'm excited to be a part of it. Stay tuned. We've got a lot more coming for you.